It is almost 6.30 and yes, I'm wearing a bonnet and yes, I'm wearing a pajama onesie. Deal with it, it's winter. Bang time. Milton. Milton. Good boy. Just finished a killer at home workout. The sun is shining and I'm feeling great and I've already drank like 20 ounces of water today, which for me is a big deal. So now I'm gonna take a shower and do some more work and then see when I feel like eating. Today's a good day. Today's a good day. Proclaim it. Okay guys, it is time for my first meal, which is going to be my deconstructed meatloaf casserole, AKA kind of like a shepherd's pie sort of thing. So here's my meatloaf casserole that I made for meal prep. You can see it has a lot of the fat still in there. I'm very excited about that. That's one thing I don't like about meatloaf is that like all the fat drains away and that's no fun. So I've heated up a serving of that in the microwave. And then what I also did was heat up this mashed cauliflower. Now I bought this on clearance. I am very happy about its convenience. You can definitely mash up your own cauliflower. I mean, put in the work. So now what I'm thinking is I'm just going to cover my meatloaf casserole with a serving of the mash. Oh yeah. Washed off some chives. Gonna give those a snip. Then I'm just gonna hit it with half a tablespoon of butter. Okay, and what do we have here? Oh my gosh, comfort food in a bowl. Ooh, let's go ahead and see what this is hollering about. All right, got me some of the cauliflower and the meat and the chives. Okay. Oh, oh, this is really good. So if you remember, the meat is just ground beef with some onions and jalapeno. And then I added in equal parts ketchup and barbecue sauce. And then I just threw some mustard in there because I had some extra mustard and it's really good. Like this is just really comfort foody and I am very pleased. Okay, I'm done. Oh, okay. And then I haven't had an Atkins bar yet, so I'm gonna have that for dessert. And then this is just a Powerade that I started on yesterday, so I'm going to be drinking that as well. So I'm gonna kill that, and then I will be back when it's time to eat something else. Okay guys, it is dinner time, and in this bowl I have four ounces of salmon, and I have about 80 grams of broccoli. So it was just steam in a bag, broccoli. Added that remaining half tablespoon of butter on top and just put some salt and pepper on this. And I'm very excited. For dessert, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I got my Jello, I got my Zevia. Mmm, the salmon is delicious. Oh, cooked in butter and topped with salt and pepper. Like, whoa, that is cray. Broccoli. With just gratuitous amounts of butter on it. Like you cannot go wrong. So I'm going to eat this. I'm going to have my Jello and Zevia and I think I'll call it a night. Okay guys. So I'm back from the salmon and broccoli and it was so good. But before I have my Zevia and Jello, cause that really just ends the night for me. I have found room in my macros for these Atkins protein wafer crisps. What if they're like nutter butters, you guys? Like, oh my gosh. So let's see, 11 grams of protein, three grams net carbs, 14 grams of fat. Not bad at all. Wafer crisps. And of course, they don't have any maltitol in them. That's the only thing I look for when I am searching for snacks. Okay, so they do look wafery and delicious, and I'm gonna try it. Mmm. 
just like a peanut butter nutter butter. Mmm. Oh, this makes me happy. It's a wafery texture. It's great. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna have my Jello and Zevia. Mmm. Winner, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, and monthly weigh-ins. You can also catch me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll catch you next week.